Makosi Dumela Dumela Makosi Dumela Dumela Makosi Dumela 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 Iyo Dumela Makosi Dumela Dumela Makosi Dumela Dumela Makosi Dumela Dumela Iyo Dumela Oh, I can see the passion in his eye. Uh, <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Hello, whoa, Mr. Big. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't feel pain anymore as yeah. Kaiser Chiefs fans. Yeah. We don't feel pain, man. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. All, All right. we do is cry. Mm. <laughs> All we do is cry, cry, cry. <laughs> Beautiful game of football. Yeah. Um, well... Okay. Uh, we saw a Mazulu. Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful game of football for the okay. for the love of the sport, you know. Okay, okay. Amazulu took on our uh, Kaiser Chiefs, one goal to one, ended mm. in a draw, stalemate. Beautiful game of football, mm. as far as I'm concerned. And like I said earlier, for the love of the sport. But uh, you watched the game, and I know you have some interesting things to say about the matchup. So let the subscribers and those who be watching let them hear it. Well. Beautiful, yes, it was beautiful. It was beautiful because within the um, 90 minutes of play, as the game uh, started, Dupree scored a goal. And that goal, um, you know, um, not just uh, national football, South African football, there's now this new um, uh, logic about football, there's now new science about football. The football science has said that you need to play from the back. Everybody's trying to play from the back. And uh, we know Amazulu as a, a team that plays from the back and they hold possession. Mm. Should I even start from there? See, these guys, before I forget this, before I forget these guys, Amazulu is a very fine team. And uh, why do I say that? Because if you are a team and you are willing to play, you are willing to hold possession, personally, I see you as a good team. Mm. Big teams in the world want to hold the possession and play you football. Mm. And that is where Amazulu is trying to be reckoned with mm. on the chart on the start of the uh, PSL league you find out that Amazulu are number six when it comes to ball possession mm. they are also number six when it comes to clean sheets mm. but their problem has been scoring goals that aside you had a situation whereby they were trying to play from the back very early into the game and uh, Dupree Dupree what a smart guy what a eye he has eye, uh, an ego eye that he has that he went in to intercept the ball and boom shakalaka it was a good 1-0 and I was like whoa Kaiser Chiefs coming um, to Amazulu to score this early lead Omo we are waiting for firecracker of a match they continued in a very smart move making attempts, hitting the ball hard, um, creating chances, but then the big issue, scoring goals. Yeah, like you said, beautiful night of football. They played beautiful game, but playing beautiful game without goals, almost, it does not count. If you don't add in those goals, it does not count. And what happened, why they were... See, they made smart moves, smart attempts, very, very bright attempts, but then the 38 minutes... It was <laughs> time for them to concede the goal, and they considered the goal, which is normal. Guys actually will concede goals. And the interesting and sad thing about today's game is that, just like the game against TS, uh, TS uh, Galaxy, the last game against TS Galaxy during, during the week, we, we, saw, we saw them losing from the winning position. And that is exactly the thing that happened today. They also lost, they they also drew rather from they drew two two from TG, TG um, Galaxy. They also drew from a winning position, and that means two points in a, uh, um, from a possible six points, and that is not good for them because where they are sitting now, they're just hanging. They are hanging. Polokwane is right behind their back. You have Chipa United still behind them. You have uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, the arrows still behind them. Then you have uh, Amazulu. We have two games to go for them. Are they, will they be able to claim these six points? When you have other teams out there that are pressing. My brother, I don't have faith again. No. I don't have faith that Kaiser Chief will make it to MTA 8. It will take a miracle for Kaiser Chief to make it into the top eight. Mm. 
and it, it will not it will not feel nice man mm. it will not feel nice for a club with so much a uh, pedigree yeah we've seen other clubs out there going down the drain but then i'm not expecting this from from kaiser chief how can you just have only one win in nine games one win in nine games okay. against um, uh, super sports united that you played two one and we thought that okay you guys are back you guys are back but then you see that you are losing or you are drawing it's not just so so nice for it's not nice at all not even so nice. it's not nice at all for for kaiser chiefs and at the end uh, when he, when we got into the second half we still saw them creating chances how can you be creating and creating chances playing ball around no go it does not make sense but then this is also um, uh, a very good uh, time to appreciate the works of uh, amazulu amazulu mind you right now they have uh, uh, they have met the points that they had last season they want to improve on what they had last season they do not have they not be having very like see, unique unique um time out there mm. but then um amazulu has uh, sustained themselves that they are in the ps uh, which is top priority for them um, they are in the league and i think it's a club that has improved i see them uh, uh, not for mtn8 this year no they should come back next year but then I see them, uh, if they continue this way, maintain this coach, Pablo. Pablo is a great guy. Um, he's, uh, he's uh, will I also say, um, enthusiastic. Um, he's uh, passionate about this club. You can see it in his face. And he's a, he's a big tactician. What I expect from them, I know it's not easy, getting those good legs, as in good striker. What they need now is the front liner. Mm. I must really need front liners to come in and help them score goals. If they can be able to to increase their goal margin to about scoring forty in a season, almost that would, that would make so much sense. That would make so much sense for them. Right now, they're about twenty-two or twenty-seven, about that number. But if they're able to score up to forty goals, almost they will be in a very very um, good position. And we, all, we can also say that uh, the the season has not been so so fair with them because of the decisions that have been made by referee. Oh, I cannot uh, stop. Uh, I cannot finish today's uh, um, uh, episode without talking about um, the offside goal. That's Amazulu also scored. I call it an offside. It was a clear offside personally. And, uh, well, uh, they should use that to console themselves because they've been, uh, they've been uh, on the other side, the negative, or will I say the, the unlucky side of the uh, referee decision. But at the end of the day, big ups to them. They had a... a yes, one would say, but they were at home, yeah. But then they had a very good game today. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Ah, Kaiser Chiefs fans, I know you guys must be uh, feeling so bad about the matchups. Kaiser Chiefs has really not been a good season for them, and uh, the records have spoken for itself. But uh, one thing I believe is that uh, I feel they should get back to the drawing board and see how they can bounce back <laughs> next season. Hopefully, mm. hopefully. Now, if this is your first time of watching this channel, welcome. This is Football Intel. This is an African channel that believes so much in African football. We have a vision, and that's placing African football on the world map. And we are not going to relent until that becomes a reality. So if you're a lover of African football, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to tell another friend that Football Intel is always here to give you guys amazing post-match analysis of African matches that are going Around all over African football. Though we have not touched all of Africa, but we're touching some particular countries. And as God helps us gradually, we would keep it a gradual process. After all, the, as the saying goes to us, that Rome was not built in a day. But what matters most is that we are a channel that loves African football. So if you are not subscribed or you're yet to subscribe, what are you waiting for? I believe you're already uh, flabbergasted by the wonderful post match mm. analysis that was given a few minutes ago by my top notch soccer analyst. So what are you waiting for? Please. Just below your screen, you have the subscribe button. Click on it and then go ahead to activate the notification bell and be up to date with our latest videos as soon as they are posted. And to those of you who have been graced by amazing content from this channel, I'm talking to, talking to our family members, our subscribers. Thank you for the likes and shares on our channel. We're so grateful you guys have been following us back to Gab. Earlier today, I was just replying comments that have been coming in on our past videos. I, I was so amazed. I was so happy. Keep I was up, dazzled. Up, I mean, up, keep it up, guys. Keep it up, Shout out up. to you guys for the comments that keep coming. The Tanzanians, the South Africans. We are so grateful. Thank you, you guys. We say a big thank you to you guys right here in the city of Port Harcourt, Nigeria. We love you. It's all about African football, African unity, because this is one sport that helps to bring Africa together. So please keep liking. Keep sharing these videos. Keep those comments coming because those comments 
They help us to know how you guys feel about the content which we create. At this point, I'm going to be drawing the cotton. I still remain your ever agile host of this great platform, Football Intel. And of course, doing this with me always, all the time, untirely and unwaveringly, is my top notch soccer analyst, Mr. Victor Sioku. Permission to fall out of the studio till we come your way again next time. Bye bye.